It is quarterfinals weekend. I'm down at CrossFit Confront. I've just tidied up a little space where we will set up for our workouts this weekend. Uh, we're doing test one here in about an hour or so. I'm gonna to start to get warmed up and loosened up for that. Test two, because our ceilings are actually only about 13 feet high, we need 15 foot rope climbs for test two. So after test one, we're gonna shoot over to CrossFit Toowoomba and do those workouts there. Then the other three workouts across the rest of the weekend. Um, I'm excited. I'm not feeling too much pressure at all. Uh, I just know, I sort of looking at the workouts, you know you're gonna have to, we're gonna see some crazy times um, and we're gonna have to do really well to, to make that sort of top ranking. It's programming that I like the look of. Um, but it's also programming, I think it's appropriate for this level of competition. I mean, 180 GHDs is, is probably the one thing that sort of catches everyone's eye uh, in terms of programming volume or maybe accessibility. Uh, there's also that 60 kilo snatch for the, in the ladies, but I mean, these are things you come up against. This is not the open anymore. And I mean, uh, in terms of what the, the test was in the open, this is completely different. Like the test in the open was just to separate the top 10% uh, in the world. This we're really looking at, uh, like what they, what they always would say, the tip of the spear. This is this is really the the we're finding the fittest people on earth. So the programming looks fun, looks really really difficult. Uh, we've got a bunch of strict handstand push-ups to go first. Um, so yeah, follow along. I'm gonna vlog this whole weekend bits and pieces um, so fingers crossed we do our, or we are going to do our best but fingers crossed our results are good on the leaderboard so see you guys at test one I'm gonna loosen up and we're gonna get straight into it Hello. <laughs> Zachary that's quarterfinals test one <laughs> Test one is complete. Uh, I didn't finish it. Mostly, I'm th first reaction is I could have finished it. Probably mostly like um, competition error. Like there was a few parts on the handstands where I sort of couldn't maintain core control, that sort of thing. Um, and anyway, I nearly finished it, got in the double lines in the last set. Uh, a little bit annoying, but overall happy because the shoulder stamina was the biggest factor. There are a few where I just got the lockouts on the on the shoulder overhead. Pretty tough. So we're going to head over to CrossFit Toowoomba for test number two, which is GHD rope climb pistols. Uh, if my arms have got any energy left, this would be good for me. Um, if my arms have got any energy left. <laughs> Thank you. 
Test one and two completed. It's Saturday morning. Uh, I feel pretty good. There's plenty of memes out already about all those GHT sit-ups and feeling pretty rough after that, but I'll feel pretty good. That'll probably hit me later today or tomorrow. Um, so Saturday morning, we're gonna hit test three and four, which is the wall ball road workout and the front squat. Probably gonna front squat first, have a rest, hit the wall ball, row workout and then probably hit the front squats again tonight if I'm not happy so it gives me a little bit of a chance to have a think about that uh, and see how the legs feel a lot of people probably probably smartly uh, hit the front squat 4RM yesterday before uh, at least before a couple of these workouts especially those GHDs because the front squat just takes so much of a, a strong brace in your core um, but anyway, test three and four today should be fun. I'm sitting at about 270th on the leaderboard in Oceana, not where I want to be sitting at all. So I finished about 210, 220, Oceana in the open. So really it's not that far off that, but the goal was firstly to improve upon the Oce Oceana ranking. Um, and then secondly, to push for that top 100. So that was the goal. Anyway, I've got a couple of events could be good for me. Um, I got a decent squat. I got decent wall ball stamina. Um, that's something I know already. Um, and I got decent power snatch cycling. So fingers crossed we've got three more workouts. Um, I'm about to go to Bantic Coffee, get an espresso, uh, fire up and get into these squats. Zachary Cadets. Quarterfinals test for four rep max front squad. One hundred and thirty kilograms. One hundred and forty one kilograms. One hundred and forty eight kilos. One hundred and fifty one kilograms.
Anyway, I feel so, I feel dead. We've just done test three and four. We actually did just test four and three. Whew. Trying, I can barely hold my hand still. I normally have the gimbal, but sh sorry for the shaky phone. 148 kilograms on the front squat, so that's 327 pounds. And I think I sort of might have, sort of have pussied out on the, the rowing on that workout, but uh, 1128. Um, yep, rest and see how we go. See how the legs feel. I'm considering doing that snatch wad tonight, then having it, or this afternoon, and having a nearly a full 24 hours rest until I maybe have another go. I might do the front squats again because I was so freaking close to 151. Um, Otherwise, I'll just make the most of today to rest. Definitely having a bath, hanging out with Mel and Mally. We're gonna to go to the markets now. Um, yeah, woohoo. Quarterfinal season is fun. We've got a huge, huge crowd here at Confront sort of supporting us, so heaps of fun. So the quarterfinals are complete. The Open's done, quarterfinals done. Top 30 men and women go through to the Torian Pro and the other semifinals. So first of all, thanks for watching and getting through to this point. Um, I finished 214th overall in Oceana. I'm pretty happy with this. It's pretty consistent with my Open standing uh, in Oceana, which was 220th. Um, but looking forward to another big year and another another big one next year. Overall, really happy with all the workouts, really happy how the event and everything flowed. I thought it was all really nice. Uh, brutal weekend, this is a couple of days later already, filming this, um, but I'm so sore still, I'm still feeling the effects from the uh, quarterfinals weekend. Um, so we're looking at the end of May for Tori and Pro, We've got tickets already, we can't wait to see everyone down there. Um, fingers crossed, I've, I've touched base with Torian because they re they wanted to know if content creators uh, wanted to be part of it, so I reached out. Fingers crossed, I get to play with them in some form. I don't know what that means, but um, hopefully get to be part of that. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. 
these have just been very, very chill, very, very relaxed videos over the course of the CrossFit Open, but thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like my videos, um, and we are back on track with um, as many affiliates as possible with my main project uh, outside of running CrossFit Confront. So next video you will see, it's going to be CrossFit Unrest. This one's gonna be cool. We're dropping in for a class uh, tomorrow afternoon. So you'll see this video in only a few days. Um, I don't wanna give away too much. But we're dropping into a regular CrossFit class with a little bit of a twist. Okay, it's got nothing to do with the programming, nothing to do with the facility. Um, it's got a lot to do with the people and how much we already know that CrossFit can help the the greater community. So this is going to be really fun, really special, um, probably really touching in, in a lot of ways and, 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 and really feel good. So make sure to subscribe, follow along, and I'll see you guys in the gym.